Throughout my fitness journey, I have been inspired by many strong women. I remember growing up and learning about the stigma surrounding women in weightlifting and how supposedly this would turn women's bodies into something that resembles a weightlifting champion. For the longest time, I avoided weights, never trained my upper body, and only stuck to cardio because of this false misconception. About a year and a half ago, I thought, Screw it. Why am I not weightlifting? And why am I neglecting to train my upper body? This is when I began my quest to build the most confident, strongest version of myself that I could be. A version of myself that wasn't afraid of flexing my biceps. Although I continued my weightlifting and upper body training throughout this entire year and a half, there was one exercise that I had yet to conquer. The chin up. A little over 30 days ago, I decided that I was going to do 15 chin-ups each day for a month to see how it would change my body, if it would improve my upper body training, and if, by the end, I would be able to do one chin-up unassisted. So, without further ado, let's get into this challenge and let's do some chin-ups. Each day of this challenge, I warmed up my body with some form of light cardio, along with arm and back stretches. I was in this for the long haul, and I definitely did not want to hurt my body. Oh. Day one warm-ups complete, let's get into it. I know it looks like I'm in a jungle, but just go with it. Looking back on this footage a month later, it's crazy to see how much my strength in my chin-up form has improved in only a few weeks. You'll definitely want to stick around until the end of the video to see my body and strength transformation. Also, as a quick disclaimer, at the beginning of this challenge, I was referring to my chin-ups as pull-ups, but then I realized that those are two completely different exercises, so just disregard that until I correct myself. A lot of work to do, but it's okay. We're gonna improve. Give me! Oh my gosh! He knocked out my phone. There's a dog attack. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hi! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Okay guys, it is day two of this challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty sore in my upper body because after day. What? Because yesterday, after I finished my 15 pull-ups, I did a full arm circuit, so I'm definitely feeling it in my upper body. But yeah, let's go do the 15 pull-ups for today. Let's get this. First off, yes, I am wearing the same Gymshark leggings as yesterday. I promise they're clean. Secondly, when I say that I was sore this day, I was sore. It was incredibly difficult for me to do all chin-ups on day two, but I pushed through and that means my muscles were already getting stronger. And before you roast me in the comments on my form, like I said, stick to the end to see a complete strength transformation. Yeah, not gonna lie, that was really hard for me today. I am so, so sore, but it's okay. Those pull-ups will get easier. Hey guys, so I'm just coming on here to say that I'm so tired today. I'm not sure why, but my body is just like quitting on me and I'm still gonna do my pull-ups for today. This is day four, but for some reason, since I've started this challenge, I've just felt like, overwhelmingly tired. I don't know if it has anything to do with the pull-ups. I am like seeing how this affects my body, not just physically, but also mentally, but I'm gonna keep doing it because I wanna stick with it and I think it'll be rewarding in the end, but 
Just wanted to say that I am feeling very mentally drained and kind of phys physically drained as well. So yeah, just coming on here to say this is day four documenting. The next day, I made sure to fuel my body with delicious and nutritious foods. She is beautiful. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Food works wonders for your body. Not only is it satisfying, but it also promotes muscle repair and growth. Alana's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Hey guys, so it's day five, and I know that yesterday I said that I was like super exhausted and that I was like struggling to even do my 15 pull ups. Well, today I've had such an abundance of energy that not only have I worked out twice, but I did 25 pull ups. So. I don't really know what's going on. The only logical explanation is I can blame it on my time of the month. If you know what I'm talking about. Some days I'm either feeling very lethargic and then other days I am just bouncing off the walls and clearly today is one of those days. So let's just attribute my tiredness and fatigue yesterday to if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm feeling great, peace out. First off, let's all take a moment to appreciate this weird gym chin-up slash pull-up doohickey. I've never seen one of these until now, but I am very fond of it. Anyway, by day seven, I lowered the resistance a little bit and I was able to complete all 15 chin-ups successfully. Not gonna lie, I was feeling very proud of myself because I was already seeing a lot of improvement and I was not expecting that to happen so quickly. By day 11, I noticed that I was completing my chin-ups over 40 seconds faster than I was at the start of the challenge. I knew that from the next day forward, I would have to lower the resistance even more. But I was ready for this challenge. All right, day 14. This day definitely did not go as planned. It's fine. I'll pick it up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It was pouring rain the entire day, so I couldn't do my chin-ups outside. And when I came inside to do them, I realized that I left my pull-up bar and bands at my dad's house. So I was stuck doing pull-ups, not chin-ups, at my kitchen table. But every challenge has its challenges, hence the name. So I'm going to cut myself some slack. All right, I'm starting with the lighter band today. Progressive overload, baby. This is the day where my newfound strength really began to show through. I significantly reduced my resistance for my first five chin-ups by using the smaller red band and I followed those with 10 more chin-ups using the green band. Considering that this challenge was only halfway complete, I was feeling extremely happy to actually see and feel such a significant difference in my strength. I did notice, however, that the 10 chin-ups I did with the green band were much harder after doing five with less resistance. And just like that, I successfully completed day 15, which means this challenge was officially halfway done. For reference of thickness, this is the lighter band that I used for my five pull-ups today. And then this is the green band that I started with that I had to use originally for all 15 of my pull-ups. But now I only need them for 10. So progress, people, progress. Only a few days later, I was able to successfully complete seven chin-ups with the lighter resistance. That was a success. Seven, but I still got work to do. Whew. Okay, finish off with the green band. One minute 
37 seconds later. <sighs> Done for the day. Okay, hey guys. So today I did not actually, f oh, by the way, that's Spider-Man right there. Today I didn't actually film my chin-ups, but I did nine chin-ups with the small red band and I was able to do the rest of the 15 super easily. So I'm feeling really proud of myself and we've made a lot of progress. I cannot wait to see what is in store for me at the end of this challenge because I am feeling strong. Hello everybody. It is officially the final day of this challenge. It is Monday, December 28th and I cannot believe that I have been doing this for an entire month now. That is absolutely insane to me. That being said, because today is the last day, instead of doing 15 assisted chin-ups with however many I could do with the light band and then transitioning into the thicker green band, I will be seeing how many chin-ups I can do unassisted. Now, keep in mind at the beginning of this challenge, I was unable to do any chin-ups on my own. And by the end, I wanted to see if I could do any by myself or if I could do multiple consecutive chin-ups on my own. And I'm really excited to see my progress. Hopefully I will get the results that I want. Yeah, without further ado, let's see what happens. Also, by the way, look at this super cute Gymshark set that I just got. I got it for Christmas. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm happy with that result. Although this challenge is officially over, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing my chin-ups because eventually my goal is to be able to do 10 chin-ups unassisted. It may take some time, but I am willing to put in the effort to get there. One thing that I hope you all take away from this video is that it takes time to achieve the goals that you want. Patience is key. I wasn't able to do five chin-ups on my own immediately, but I put in the work a little bit every single day and those baby steps help me reach my goal in the end. Looking back, I have realized that this challenge was incredibly rewarding for me because not only was I able to complete one chin up unassisted, but I surpassed that goal completely and was able to do five on my own. And I just feel mentally and physically stronger and I think that's what's most important. I hope this encourages you all to do something great for your body today and shows you that you can accomplish any goal that you have if you are willing to put in the work to get there. That being said, this is the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like because I put a lot of effort and time into this video. As you know, this took the span of a month. So definitely give it a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my content. I've got some really fun challenges other challenges coming up and I've got some other really fun videos coming up as well so if you want to stick around then subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye guys <laughs>